do you want to get your arrow back after you shoot it? Well, you'll need to attach this to this. So let me show you how. Oh man, I can't believe I just missed that. You know, tying arrows on may seem like an easy thing, and honestly it is. But when you buy your first arrows, you may not have someone there to guide you through the process. So let's take a few minutes and run through the basics. There's only one knot to know for two types of line, and a couple of variations for attaching the arrow to learn. Before we start, the other things that you'll need today are a knife or scissors and a lighter. And the knot you'll need to know is a basic overhand knot. The typical overhand knot, you're going to create a loop in one end of the rope or one end of the line. And then take a couple of fingers, wrap the loop around your fingers to make a, a hole, and then run the loop end through the hole and pull it tight. Your knot will be down here and you'll have a loop that you can use to make your connections on your arrow. Here's a basic fiberglass arrow. And for attachment, you usually have three options. Safety slides, safety rings, or tying to the back. And for this tutorial, we'll demonstrate attaching to the slide and tying to the back. We'll be saving rings for another day. So this is a safety slide, and there are a few variations on the market, but for this demonstration, we'll focus on the slide design made popular by AMS Bowfishing. And here's the safety slide, and you can see that one side has a groove on it, and the other side doesn't. What I would like to show you is a variation on the way that these are normally tied on. I'm going to suggest a loop-to-loop -loop connection instead of a loop-to-arrow connection. So what I want to do here is I want to take a section of string approximately 8 inches long. I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lighter and I'm just going to hit the ends of this real quick just to prevent fraying and help this line slide through the safety slide just a little bit better. Now that I've done that, I want to work up through the slide from the back side towards the groove. I want the line to cross over the groove and then go back out the safety slide on the other side. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the line through until the ends match and I'm going to tie another basic overhand knot. And the size of this loop isn't that critical. So I'm just going to wrap this around and I'm going to pass both of the tag ends on the line through the hole and then I'm going to pull tight. And now I have a connection on the arrow which is a loop. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim the tag ends of that off and hit it real quick with the lighter just to take off the phrase. Now on the reel itself I'm going to take a little bit of line out I am going to create a loop. This loop can be anywhere from three to four inches long. The size of this loop isn't as critical. And I'm going to tie an overhand knot in this line as well. I've created a loop. I have a small tag. I'm just going to cut that tag end off and hit it real quick with the lighter. As far as connection to the arrow is concerned, take the loop and feed it through the loop that's on the arrow. Then go down to the tip end of the arrow and wrap it over the tip. Come all the way down to the other end of the arrow and wrap it over the knock. And now you have a loop-to-loop -loop connection that's been established. Pull the knot through so that the line lines up and now you have a nice solid connection loop-to-loop -loop and taking this arrow off is relatively easy. Just loosen the first loop back up again. Come down, go over the knock. Work it down to the other end of the arrow. Go over the tip. And then just slide the loop out. The nice thing about this connection is that if you shoot safety slides and you shoot a bottle reel, you can take your arrows and you can pre-prep them with all of these loops. And then it's just a matter of pulling another one out in the event that you need to swap arrows. This is the type of line that you would use with a spin cast reel. I'm going to start again 
from the back side. I'm going to pinch the loop that's on the end of the braid and I'm going to feed it up through and then around the grooved part of the safety slide and back down through the other side. Now, here's a trick. Keep pulling until the knot comes all the way through. The entire loop is going to be exposed on the other side of the safety slide. From there, take your loop, wrap it down the arrow, around the tip, come down to the knock, wrap it around the knock, and then start pulling the line back through. You'll get a little resistance from the knot, but the knot will pull back through the safety slide. Then it's just a matter of arranging the line slightly to get a nice clean connection. Now you're well connected to the safety slide. This is not going anywhere and it, the safety slide can still pass up and down the arrow no problem. To take the arrow back off, loosen the knot back up, work back over the knock end, go back over the tip of the arrow, begin to pull the line. You'll get a little resistance from the knot, but essentially you'll be able to take the loop back off of the arrow again. These attachment techniques come in really handy if you lose a tip, break a knock, or happen to shoot all the way through a fish. You can simply loosen the connection, run the loop up around the arrow, and then pull the line through. Reattaching your arrow is just as easy and there's no need to cut anything. The third option is to tie directly to the back of the arrow. And please note that this should only be done with the lighter braided lines that are 200 pound tests or less and designed for reels like the Muzzy XD, the Cajun Spin Doctor, or the Mega Mouth. When it comes to tying to the back of the arrow, if you start off with, a, with an arrow that has a safety slide on it, you'll need to remove the small cushion on the back and that takes a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen the bolt that holds the cushion on and then remove the cushion and set it aside. Then slide the safety slide off of the arrow. Now you have an open hole that will allow you to tie to the back of the arrow. Using the loop on your light braid, and again, a reminder, only use light braid line. Do not use the heavy braid line that comes on a bottle reel to do this technique. Pinch the loop and work it through the arrow until it comes out the other side. The most basic tie to the back would just loop over the knock and then pull tight. This has a tendency to work loose and could potentially lose an arrow if you're not paying close attention on nearly every shot. A variation of this that works really well is to loosen this up slightly and add an extra half a twist and then pull the line tight again. That will ensure that the line does not slide off of the arrow. Just loosen the loops back up again, work them over the knock, and then pull the line back out. If you have a hole that is damaged, you need to pay particular attention to your line because there's the potential that it could fray your line and weaken the line over time. If you notice that your loop is starting to get frayed, cut it off, tie a new loop into the end using your overhand knot, and then reattach to the arrow. That's all there is to it. Only one knot to learn and you can be on your way. However, as a best practice, and no matter which method you choose, it's always advisable to wear safety glasses when bow fishing. Unfortunately, we were reminded of the dangers of arrow snapback when a fellow bow fisher lost his eye last year. So please take your time when knocking your arrow and make sure everything is in place before pulling back for your next shot. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to learn more about bow fishing, subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more content also on our website at twibowfishing.com and we have a Facebook page that you can follow us on at facebook.com forward slash bowfishing.education.